the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So we can bring everyone in. But you know it's really funny. You say that. But look at what happened to them people. Man, he used to wear them out. <laughs> they used to get towed off. Yeah, but not not because of God. <laughs> because of them. They, yeah. They, they got, you know, and, and and so so it could have been any people. Yeah. Any people, you know, because Oh Lord, like, hallelujah. You know, outside of, of, of what once we fail, we fail. Yeah. Period. <laughs> I mean, it didn't take long for the first murder after the first fall. In one yeah. lifetime. <laughs> hey, you, know. you know, in, in, in one generation, yep. murder happened. Murder happened. Yep. That was murder. That, that, look how quick that happened. Exactly. Quickly. His brother, he hated his own brother. His yep. own flesh and blood. Yep. Did he hate him? Or did he just, <laughs> he just snapped? I mean, that just lets you know how how strong the will of of, of our adversary is. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you don't see that. Nobody sees that. You know, when you look at Cain and Abel, you you look at Cain and Abel. You don't look at the demonic forces that were behind that. Right. You know, you just think it was just that that brother. That brother just hated his other brother. Is that no? That was him giving way to demonic forces when through through envy, through right. jealousy. Right. That was an avenue for the enemy to come in. And so he just gave way to him. And in a demonic fit, he killed his brother. And yeah. guess what? God was still there for him. Still there. God was still there, there. even yeah. after that. The mercy yeah. of God. Yeah. And, and, and it goes to show you God's man was in a boundless wisdom. That God sees it on both sides of the veil. That's the thing that I think I you said. He see you on dead side. He see you on live side. He see you on real rich side. He see the whole story from the beginning to the end. Yeah. So, so he don't look at death the way he look at it. It's fine. He killed him. No, no, he didn't. He took him out the planet, but he didn't he take his soul. He, he, I mean, he, back. he was dead and it's crying out to God. Yeah. yeah. How does that happen? Yeah, that, you know, that, <laughs> God, if that, that was the end. On both sides. If that was the end, how, how, how was he crying out? Thank God. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's over the fact he didn't kill Cain. God didn't kill Cain, right? You yeah. Know? He didn't yeah. kill Cain for a crime that was murder. He showed him mercy to him, right? Sure, he put a mark right. on him and then said, don't nobody kill him. <laughs> because if you do, you're going to get the seven, what, two-fold or seven-fold, right? Seven. seven but, fold. But, and what I found out about religion, and the thing that turned people off on religion, is it kind of remind me of uh, when you might have had, I said in my little CIT about white walled it. White washed you know, walls, yeah. Gene was talking about graves, you know, and, and the tombs are white. Yeah, he said you're like white as sepulchers. Yeah. You're on the outside, you look fine, but on the inside, you're full of dead men's bones. Dead men's yeah. bones, right? And, and so religion has tried to cloak evil and and i want to throw something else at you think about this elder brother Isaac, the color of skin that we identify ourselves black and then we identify the other one as white my my point is when people chose the the color white i'm just asking I, and I, i'm really talking to if any person listening to this white represents what purity it does doesn't it what is the complexion of people who call themselves white well, i know it ain't white <laughs> it's not white no <laughs> it's not it's not and even people call themselves black i mean you, Very it, few it, some of us are black <laughs> Some of us are dark as Some are pretty as close as to me. I guess. There, there's a few that are black. <laughs> right. But. I think this is this, and you know they call it Hispanic, brown. Yeah. Right? But there's a black Hispanic, right? Yep. Just like in Puerto Rico, you said there's black. Yep. This is a, black yep. Hispanic. And there's white. And, but, but there's look, white look. Hispanics too. But, but we call them brown. Now, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. 
why why call people brown? Why call people now? What those in it? Why call people white? You said is the definition because it paints the picture of purity, correct? Well, it's a separation, and, and that's 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 <laughs> the division. Is it? But you see, what I'm saying, say, is that another symbol of being white walled, but underneath dead man bones? I think some people might have used that, especially if you're a conquering nation. If you're a conquering nation, you want to dispel the gods of the people that are there, because you don't even have a history or any help outside of what they get from you. Right. So you really want the gods that look like you, and that's what basically happened to us when Europeans came over and you know conquered this nation and enslaved the blacks and brought them in. All the gods turned to Europeans. Right. The, the paintings and stuff that they had. I mean, these paintings were people that they knew. <laughs> Right. And they, they use relatives right. and smiles and stuff. So. Because, because you call the Indians red skin. Yeah. Now, have you ever seen a red person? Well, I, I've seen some Indians that kind of red. They look red. They ain't wearing complexion. I don't know many Indians because they ain't that I've seen young. some white people turn red. I know her. I know her. Have, yeah, you, yeah, seen, yeah. have you seen a, Have you seen an Indian look what? Have, what? How many Indians you ever seen look red? That that, that the, the under. I don't know if you call it undertone or. But it's kind of like, you know, sometimes you have like a, a yellowish hue, or you have like a brownish hue, how or you have like a reddish how hue. Many, how many people you see red? Nah, not never seen anybody just flat out red, you know, but it's just dead. <laughs> kind of hey, a, I, got, I got another one for you. <laughs> how many people you see yellow? Because what do you call the Asian? Yellow. What? Yellow. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen a yellow person? Have anybody seen a yellow person? They weren't yellow, yellow, but they were yellowish. <laughs> well, <laughs> I like mean, to be, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, the, they're, they're, nobody is the color of what they're like. Exactly. There, there is, there, there is a. Uh, there's some black people. There's some black, black people now. <laughs> yeah, but and, they, and they're still not black. They're not, they're not black, but they're they're not black. And the reason I'm saying that, though, is when I say these words, they represent something opposed to the truth of what people look like. Let me ask you a question, though. Why does Jesus identify the Ethiopians? I mean, why does the scripture even identify you and say, can the Ethiopian change its color? And the reason I ask this question is because I think, with, does God not use you know, uh, demographics as a, as a, uh, as a, as almost like a, a landmark or a, what do you call it, milestone or, you know, you have certain indicators in a story that show you where you're at. Like you have a map that says you were here and it has a little dot in there. It appears, now this Johnson doesn't totally so I'll beat this up like you felt, but it appears <laughs> as though God has allowed certain demographics, even with the Jewish nation. We know who the Jews are. Even with the bringing of the Messiah into the, to the, to the, to the advent of the Messiah, we know he came through the Jewish nation. We can make a lot of stories and come up with a lot of lies about you know who Jesus is and what Jesus was like. But Jesus is a Jew. Whether we like it or not. <laughs> he's not a black, he's not an African, he's not, you know, Canaanite, he's not a Jephite. He is a Jew. Right. And some people got a problem and, with that. I had first somebody say they had a problem with and, that. And well, we have, and, and, but they would, but that didn't change God from identifying him as a Jew. Exactly. Okay, but, 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 but at that time, what, what was a Jew? Right. I mean, you, you, you can't, you, you, you cannot say the pigment color of the Jews oh, no. from that time. Mm -hmm. right. You can't, you, you, no. you, you can't right. pick out other than what the Bible says. Right about him. Now, the one thing I think we think about, when we think about the Ethiopians, that was a specific uh, um, a reference to color. And also, yeah. the children of Gehazi, his children, he said, the leprosy that stuck with you, to, to, to Naaman is gonna stick with you and your seed forever. So when he left him, he would left him, quote unquote, leprous white, in accordance with the scripture. So uh -huh. there was an identification by color there of Gehazi's offspring the ethiopian was 
not necessarily she was black, but there was uh, Dark. Yeah. Niger. I think Niger was one of the disciples, wasn't he? Was one of the disciples was called Niger? And I think Niger means black. What is, yeah. what is so, black does, black? Does, so does Kim. And uh, <laughs> what, Kim? Uh, foot in uh, Push. Push yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I, have a, I have a book that that did some research on that but anyway that's that's neither here nor there so the, the problem is, is the point is that they were they were calling back the majority of time by their region names right you're you're ethiopian you're egyptian you're, yeah you see what i'm saying that's how they were identifying people not based on the color of their skin so when our society started talking to people based on the color of skin they really tried to tell every time i say and I ask my I ask this question. Let me throw this. It's the same. I'm the same uh, path, but I'm trying to ask the question. Cowboys and Indians. How did they not cowboys in, but the cowboys? How did they identify the a bad guy and a good guy? By hair, white hair. <laughs> That's exactly how they used to do it. Did you know that, brother? Asa? Did you know that? Yeah, they, I do know that. So how 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 is all this? Uh, because the fact is your neighbor i'm gonna bring it all the way back to it okay we, we try to uh divide which is another scripture said how divided cannot stand we try to find means to separate neighbors by either geographics by color by by something that allows her to say that is not my neighbor and we got to watch out for even our society. We try to divide this nation. Every time we say black or white, technically, we're trying to say, that is not my neighbor. That That is my neighbor. And that's not what God wants, right? That's right. Yeah, and that's why we got to watch out for when that guy said, who is my neighbor? And we got to watch out the fact is that all mankind we're supposed to show mercy to because god showed mercy to all mankind right he showed mercy to the world yeah the world is our neighbor every one of us are not black and white in the eyes of god we're his made in the image of god and we have to sit there and not try to say, you're not my neighbor, so you don't deserve my mercy. You're my neighbor because of mercy. Chose by God. And I think I'm saying that's the message that needs to be given to the, your gospel, your mercy. You show, isn't that what that, in that scripture said, who is your neighbor? The one that you show mercy to. Well, to be to be scripturally correct is compassion. Compassion to yeah. show compassion to compassion to me is you you can you can beat somebody to the point of death like those people who robbed that guy. Yeah, and had mercy enough to let him believe you to stop but compassion which is what what the, the scripture says this is a whole another level <laughs> yeah it is, it is. Compassion. You know, you, compassion means you you're not gonna rob that person you're not gonna so, you know, so the opportunity presented itself yeah they know. really need what that person has exactly. it may be it may be life changing to you come on but out of compassion come on you, you, the, you concern for the suffering exactly and the misfortune of us exactly. that you will probably produce on this person yeah or beat me so yeah. uh i think that's important but uh the who's the, my the, the uh who's my neighbor <laughs> i I, I i like uh just this this CIT unconditional love is yeah. required to yeah. inherit yeah. eternal life yeah. in the kingdom of God. 
Yeah. So unconditional love is the God kind of love. So yeah. I even can condition condense unconditional love to God is required to yes. inherit eternal life in the kingdom of God. That's a requirement. Yes. So yes. I I uh I think that 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 sums up that. That's the thing of it. Yeah, I think so. That is the thing. We we and the, and the the symptoms we've been pointing out and talking about is we try to corral our neighbor, man. Some based on race. <laughs> some based on skin color. Songs based on ge geographic. Songs based on ideology. You know? There's people yeah. out there that hate people that say they're Democrats. There's people out there that hate people that say they're Republicans. There's people out there that hate somebody because they're black. They call them black. There's people out there that hate people because they call them white. And God is sitting there saying, I, I don't, all these people are your neighbor. It does not make a difference. If you don't, if you want to, it is a point I want to bring out to everybody and just listen to this. If you want eternal life, you need to recognize that your neighbor is of the brown skin complexion, dark skin complexion, light skin complexion, pink skin complexion, you know, uh, complexion. They're all your neighbor. Yeah. And a house divided. That's why, I mean, you, if you think about all these scriptures he's saying, these all of them have a thread pointing back to a house divided cannot stand. How can you stand? How can you even have God follow you, brother as an elder, if, if you don't know who your neighbor is? Uh, you, you, I think, you know, in the book that, scenario that we dealt with right there we saw the interaction of god who was making correction right and as jesus himself on the scene saying okay let's take a look at this but in the world system they don't have that advantage no the fix for the world system is truly the church the body of christ that has been given church. the mission of showing the flip side of the coin yeah this is what's right this is what's wrong this is what works this is what doesn't right so all the things that you've seen as it applies to the kingdom of God, yeah. we will manifest, can and will can manifest, and will manifest in season. But the world system will never be able to bring that together. No. Because if they do bring it together, it's going to be done in unrighteousness, and there's going to be a scapegoat. And it looks like the church is going to be that scapegoat. Hitler was able to yeah. unite Germany. Yeah. But he yeah. united Germany over the Jews. He did it, did it. He, he said the third right, right? He said the third right. Right. Yeah, he did it. He, he used them as a scapegoat and he he solidified the the, the resources of that nation, intellectual and, you know, material resources, and started raising it up. But he yeah. had a scapegoat and that's how he was able to solidify the power. That's how Satan does work. Right. He I mean, there's a way to see right into a man that works, but at the end of it is death. In the kingdom, we get past all the color schemes and stuff like that. In order to get to the we truth, we have to. We have to get right. We have to get to the And I think the my same mother thing. and brother and sister. Right. My mother and brother and sisters are those who do the will of my father. The will of my father. Yep. That's the unifying effect among us right now. Right. If the body of Christ in the United States of America came together even over that, right. The influence of the church in the United States of America would be overwhelming. Yeah. And I you mean, know that. And I think that was the problem I saw, like even with the the. Uh, what you know the the the, cap, the tactic of the capital six june what what was being portrayed was that was how much was it how the house was divided right because it was a divided house wasn't it what what called why is it a divided house today in our country what what's going on today in our country well, well we can identify racism as one thing but the political ploy, I think the, the great point that we skirted, it, we didn't really get to it. And I hate to say it because it's gonna feel like I'm being like antagonistic, but I'm not. It was it was it was homosexuality or the or the LGBTQ agenda, and it was abortion. 
-hmm. Those were the things that really divided the nation. And yes. nobody was going to say that. They, they weren't going to say it. Because a lot of people voted for Mr. Trump, not because of Mr. Trump's personal mores or something, but it was his stance on Israel when he decided he was going to make Jerusalem the, 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 the. And then uh, his report, his, his reported stance on abortion and his report a stance on the LGBTQ community. Right. Those things split this country down the middle. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, those, those, those are good. things that people use as an excuse. Yeah. They, they, weren't, they weren't ties to it because if it was a tie to it, it would be because he believed in it. And he, oh, no, and, he and, no. and and he acted on it, but he didn't. He didn't. He just said it. So he said it because people told him to say it so that these groups can use it as an excuse to get behind him. Yeah. Knowing that everything about about his actions and his motives and his beliefs were uh contrary to, to what was being presented right and uh all division so so it 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 was an excuse for them to grab a hold of to maintain to maintain their status in life yeah yeah they see they see in our society because i think even uh jimmy was talking about how you know and even you i think you talk about sometimes we're trying to normalize something. That's right. And in reality, what we we are really trying to establish what has always been the the, the the truth is in our country that everybody has this inalienable right. They have rights, right? But we 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 we're, we're, we're attacking the rights of people that we don't think is our neighbor. We're attacking the right as far as the people about abortion, right? The whole thing about abortion that is is to focus on uh, the right of the woman and the, over the right of the unborn child. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the question is, is always a struggle there, right? Do I have the right to override the woman's rights for the unborn child? And I okay, I, this, I, this I, is the point. The child is a part of the woman until the child is born. I don't care yeah. what people say. And it, it is an excuse to control. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the fact of the matter is they are not adequately, uh, adequately caring for these children that are being born. Now, nope. if they could, if they could say, "Okay, these child need to be born," we have a system that's going to take care of them in a righteous way, not an unrighteous right. system, but right. a system that's going to care for these children from birth to maturity. Right. Not, not, not just tuck them away to where they're being used uh, as as a source of income. They're being abused. They're being, you know, uh, tossed around, you know, cattled up. Yeah. It, it, the, the, the system for caring for these children without parents is broke. Right. Always right. has been. Now, there is, a, there is a just system in there to provide uh, kids to uh, families that, that can't have children or want to just want to adopt a child. But those are far and few and in between. And even then, there's only certain children that's going to get adopted. Right. But to say that, okay, you cannot abort this 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 uh, child, yeah. this unborn child, and because that's how God wants it, and yet there are miscarriages. Does God want a miscarriage? Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, so if, if if God ain't stopping that, then what 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 you know? If God's not stopping the rape, and He's not stopping the the, the incest, 
and he's not stopping these children from being born, does God have a hand in that? Or is this just a part of the results from having sex? Yeah. Whether it is wanted or not, this is a process that's been established like gravity. Yeah, yeah. And it almost like got the to earth spinning. The earth is going to spin. Yeah. Seed time and harvest is going to happen. Seed time and harvest, that's what you get, a harvest, right? So, so the fact that they're trying to use God yeah. to, to be an excuse for trying to control right. another person, that's all it is. That's all it is. And if you, if you, only, you watch out for it, it's like we did 400 years or 100 years ago when they had slavery. Is that if you don't watch out, a slippery slope is that if I can take the right base on this, can I now start taking the right base on some other things? Yeah, I mean, just that's no different than uh, once they once they got into the household, they control how a person can be raised. Now. Right. Once the government got in and started dictating how you raise your child. Right. Now they can come in and just take your child. Yeah. Now, granted, there was a reason for that. Yeah. It is a we it's all funny. know about how laws are. Laws are there. Yeah. And once the law is made, then there is going to be an attempt to break the law. Yeah. And yeah. to abuse the law. So it's on both sides. Yeah. And, uh, and it's all about a form of power. We are going to control this house. This is our power and authority to do this. No, we just keep we we keep praying that these parents raise these kids right, and we stay focused and be diligent about exposing these people who are abusing child, right. not going in their homes and yeah. taking their kids, <laughs> not being able to dictate how you discipline a child. You know, I mean, I was what they, what they, I was way beyond what they call abuse right now when I was coming up. Uh -huh. I mean, it, 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 what they call abuse right now, that was just the, 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 the <laughs> that wasn't even the tip of the pier, the spear of what I was going through when I was, you know, coming up. But yet, I'm here. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm alive. Uh, I can say I'm better for it, yeah. you know, but I can also go to the other side. Yeah, it messed me up in some areas. Yeah. You know, but it also did some greater things because it made me not want to raise my children in such matter. Uh-huh. You know, and, and to give uh, uh, different different options for my kids' lives Come on, and now. my parenting skills. But yeah, still, on the, like I said, on the other end, there's times when I wanted to put my hands on my child before even thinking about it because it was it was it's the norm. It it's was what norm. I up, right. it's what I grew up in. Right, and you know it's funny about it's, it's, it's even even the stuff like that our past and then some that want to go way beyond the, the discipline of, of love is they. <clears throat> said, because you're my child, I'm gonna treat you this way. In other words, they'll pass on the abuse. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's in everything. That's yeah. that that that's in the church. Yeah. yeah. I grew up in this way. This is how it was taught to me. This is how I'm gonna teach it. Yeah. Right. In maintenance. Yeah. Hey, we we we've always fixed this plane this way, so we're right. gonna keep fixing it this way. <laughs> well, it's not the same plane. It's not the same plane. <laughs> it's not the same child. It's, it's not the same. <laughs> there you go. It's just. <laughs>